a Mandy one. one. <laughs> it's real good. <laughs> no. The more you beg for it, the more I'll just probably yeah, make it like a YouTube soon, series. Yep. <laughs> then I'll just have Nick in a call and we'll just do a YouTube video instead. And then you'll be like, oh, I didn't see what happened last time. And I'll be like, yeah, go watch it on YouTube. My food's already done. That said, I actually do need to put up those videos on YouTube soon. It's an XCOM thing, not original for me. Okay. Well, I don't I don't know anything about like XCOM community at all, so yeah. Oh man, there's just like a dude out in the snow. Hey person. Oh, it's a lady. Mm, I mean, we're going to be killing Alamaus, but they're not going to be like aliens. They're just going to be like elves. Elvlamau. Want to dome an Alamau? I forgot that we were calling aliens Alamau. Can't believe I forgot that, but like, also really happy that it is what we're calling it. Hello. I have much roll sticks. Alamaus equal aliens. No, I, yeah, I know that now. I forgot about it. <laughs> uh, that dog just disappeared into the aether. Alamaus are elves. <laughs> what a distinction. What about Warhammer where elves are aliens? <laughs> the Eldar. They're just aliens with like pointy ears and slightly bigger heads. I really like that in the uh, in the Warhammer universe the Eldar are super hated by humans but they're like literally the only aliens that want to get along with humans. Mm -hmm. Humans are just like yeah we kill the Eldar but the Eldar are just like why do they hate us? Are they stupid? And then they're like yes they are stupid. <laughs> Also, I found another vampire. Is this just going to be what happens all the time now? Invisibility yeah. discovered from vampire dust. Well, now I need to just kill vampires all the time. I just need to mix a ton of potions of invin uh, invisibility, rather, and just get crits all the time. Hey, buddy. Stop. Stop draining me of my blood. Fight the dog. This one dude's punching a dog. The dog's not doing anything but bark at them. I am disappointed in you, dog. <laughs> Kill her. She's dead. Potion of the warrior. Vampire dust. Let's take the vampire dust, just in case. Well, rip all the vampires. Noid needs your ashes for potions. Listen, you were not here when I did rip apart all the vampires. I accidentally killed a master vampire. I didn't even intend for it. We freaked out. It was like a meth lab. Which is a really weird sentence now that I said it. <laughs> we ripped apart all the vampires. It was like a meth lab. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Like it's a verb. <laughs> it was like a meth lab. <laughs> the party was like a meth lab. <laughs> the vampire was a meth lab, really. Quite tank. <laughs> <laughs> that area was actually pretty tank, though. <laughs> uh, I think the dog just went through here and just killed some people. Because I just looked over and saw a corpse. Okay, don't want that guy to see me though. Accidentally killed. Oops, sorry. I was cleaning my axe and it went off. <laughs> it went off. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I was cleaning my axe and it went. Oh, like that could be a thing in Final Fantasy though. That happened in the uh, trailer park I grew up in. Someone was just cleaning their gun and they accidentally shot it and it went through like three trailers. I <laughs> thought you anybody. were going to say that somebody was cleaning their axe and it shot somebody. <laughs> 
<laughs> no. But, but I do is... like that the bullet went through three trailers because trailers. <laughs> uh, I shot this guy in the head and he just went, ah. <laughs> it's really good. There's this little hole in our trailer for around. <laughs> Did you like, at least patch it up? Yeah, we did, but. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I'm gonna shoot her in the boobs. <laughs> She's dead. I'm gonna take her ashes. I took the vampire dust. That said, though, vampire dust is not really their ashes because their bodies don't disintegrate. Also, I don't remember this place having vampires the last time I was here. You have to unload your axe before cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, like that. That could <laughs> <That's always loading. laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You treat every axe like it's always loaded. <laughs> all axes are loaded, Nick. <laughs> all melee weapons are loaded all the time. <laughs> That's what you guys don't seem to understand here. The right of fire? How can how fast can you swing your arm? <laughs> well, how fast negative the amount of time it takes to get out of the person that you just swung it into. <laughs> god damn it. I need to start investing points into my lock picking skill. I never put any points into it. Why, why would you, basically? Because I keep breaking my lockpicks. Okay, good. Again, you get hundreds of them anyways. Just make sure to remember to buy them every time you get a chance. I never buy them. I just pick them off of the dead bodies of the people that, you know, F See, with me. If you just buy them, because they're only like one gold each, you'll just get hundreds of them. It won't matter. When it isn't loaded, it totally is. <laughs> I really like this narrative. But, like, honestly, this is just, like, Final Fantasy, the discussion, though. Because, like, one guy's gun is also a sword. So, like, what's to stop everyone in the Final Fantasy universe from having melee ranged weapons? Doesn't Bloodborne have everything like that? Yes. There's a rapier that is yeah. also a gun. Elven Bracers of Alchemy. Nice. Alright. <laughs> I'll take them. I'm not going to need them. I already have Elven Bracers. They just don't do anything with alchemy. I'm never even low on lockpicks. I just take them from defeated enemies. I never run out. Well, you are a lucky duck. Yeah, that's right. I said lucky duck. Want to uh, wanna get me a free copy of Duck Game? I'll say yeah. lucky duck all day. Want to get four free copies? <laughs> two or three, something like that? I should actually like try and communicate with devs more, but I don't. I used to. I just, like, sit there and go, yeah, they're not going to give me something free anyway. Mm -hmm. Nick can be our PR. He can message the devs and be like, I belong to this channel. Yeah, they, they would have looked at my Twitter and seen, like, oh, man, Jay Smith follows him and everything. Oh, F exactly. you. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it, like, totally more credible, too. <laughs> I always, like, sit there and think, like, I say all this stuff that those people like, and then they just never follow me. <laughs> All weapons in Bloodborne are I mean, I only got any of my followers. That's not true. Because, because of Scott. Which, That's... ironically, is the reason that I don't have any followers now. So. <laughs> it's come full circle. <laughs> 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 that, if it makes you feel any better, his group YouTube channel has a significantly worse name. Yeah, isn't it like W something? W-A-S-D Productions. Yeah, it's, it's and really like the, the image for it is just like a stereotypical font on a blue background. I'm like, Scott, ew. <laughs> it's like, listen... The Noid Bag, I know it sounds egotistical, but at the same time, as we've established that it is a place as well as a person, it, it encompasses more than just myself. And it's not like I'm going to have like everything be like, Noid Plays, when somebody that isn't me uploads a video. <laughs> <laughs> like, when Charlie uploads it, obviously it's going to be like, whatever he wants to name the video series. I'm not going to take credit for a video I didn't make. <laughs> I'm not a dickhead. All the time. I'm a dickhead a lot. Axe shotgun is OP. What the hell are you talking about? There is no axe shotgun. Mm, axe gun. There is a rifle spear. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what it's called, too. You don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. They didn't see me. They rushed at me like they saw me, and then they didn't. That's really weird, but they're dead now. 
No axe shotgun yet. I mean, Bloodborne is getting DLC. So, cross your fingers. Do you hear that? Hmm? What? Hold on a second. Right. Where is that coming from? Somebody doing something outside and it just sounds like wow 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 wow. <laughs> Missed the whole axe as a bayonet conversation. I did, but that's because I'm busy killing things. Also, like, that sounds like a terrible weapon. An axe as a bayonet? Like, why wouldn't you just have the axe be the back of your shotgun, like, on the grip? Because then you can just hold the barrel and use that it as a melee weapon. Right? That sounds pretty nice, yeah. Plus then, I mean, like, you you hold your shotgun usually with two hands. Unless you're stupid. <laughs> or have, like, a sawed-off, right? Even then. Yeah, but I mean, there are people that, kick that one thing. hand. You gotta be a strong individual. You know? Yeah. But, uh, say you've got it on the back, right? Yeah. You have it there, and then you just, like, you know, use the butt like a like a melee weapon but it's got like an axe on it so then you're just like cleaving into a person's head when you butt them with the uh the axe end of it that's the business end yeah i can see that also i left lbs on my bad <laughs> it's gonna be big yeah <laughs> to quote the medic it is the sound of progress my friends Ugh. <laughs> but then it'd be hard to shoot the thing but with the business end against your shoulder. No, you just get like a flat top axe. Yeah. Sounds a little dangerous to use, but that's, you know, it's the risk. Well, I mean, like, you just get an axe that's flat at that point, but then has the blade down. So it's just like, if it kicks back, it kicks back with the flat end against you. Yeah. Well, we're at it. Why don't we just get, like, you know, a sniper rifle with, like, a stiletto attached to it or something? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get wild. <laughs> Why are you mad at your dog, bro? I'm glad to be rid of him. Even if it does mean I'm stuck in this pitiful shrine. Okay, and seven acts a sword blade, but retracts into the stock when you're not using it. Hit a button, blade pops out for stabby time. <laughs> stabby time. <laughs> that, that you see, it sounds better if the sword is like in a sheath that's built into the underside of the barrel of the shotgun and then you have a second trigger so like you put the gun up against him and he thinks you're gonna like shoot him and then you pull the second trigger and a sword comes out it's like spring loaded either way he's gonna die though so yeah but the sword bad. is a lot more personal because then you just pull it back you don't even pull it back you just have like another switch on the thing that retracts the blade and you're just like yeah An axe powerful enough for me to have quite a bit of fun indeed. <laughs> no strings attached, no messy surprises, at least not for you. <laughs> I wish I could click that, but I can't because if I do alt-tab out of this game, there's a chance it might crash. All right, so dude wants me to get an axe. Shouldn't be a problem. Also, there's just some dead people in here. Wait, there's a master vampire dead here? Dog, did you kill a master vampire? <laughs> I thought it was a joke. It's, it's a really no joke. <laughs> it's kind of wild, to be honest. I'm going to have, like, all the vampire dust by the end of this and not have any idea of how to alchemically combine them to make better potions. <laughs> Because I'm really dumb. Uh, Nick? Yes? You remember, do you remember that episode of Fringe where the building from the other world came into our world and fused with the other building? I do, yes. 
I have encountered that. <laughs> this woman is just... Ugh. Oh, shit, I see. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that crowbar with a sniper scope. What, what, is, what is that? Why is that a thing? It's <laughs> uh, <laughs> really good, though. Gordon, you can stream up. <laughs> uh, Nick... I'm doing one Daedric God's quest, and then I found Meridia's beacon in a chest. So I just got a Daedric quest from another Daedric quest. <laughs> Ugh. Give me fast oh, healing. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, like hey, that that's nice, though. Elven Bracers of Archery. That's perfect. Imperial Bow of Fatigue. <laughs> oh, God, she's, she's talking. Why? Listen, How do I... Me, oh, there's the chain. <laughs> How about a rifle that fires swords? I mean, that's kind of a thing. Here, here's an even better idea. What about a sniper rifle that just shoots like javelins? <laughs> I mean, just shove things in the rail guns at this point. I mean. Can we not just get functional railguns now? Like, well, I, we already have them. I, so I know, but like, I mean, I them. mean, mobile, like, portable railguns. Yeah, we're not there yet. <laughs> I know we're not there yet, and that's what's like. I want there. I want yeah. us to be there. I want us to have like Metal Gear railguns, where like the sniper has the railgun for some reason. That are made of lasers. Let's not get absurd here. Oh, man. Let's like, not get absurd. Ev everything we're talking about is at least feasible <laughs> up until this point. <laughs> Well, these are those weapons. We're not there yet. I mean, we could be there, but it would take like five minutes to burn you. And it would be like a building for the batteries. That is true. <laughs> well, that said, though, it's only, like, like, it's only like a truck size to like blow up a missile, though. Sure. I mean, you, you can already put them on planes and stuff, so. Yeah, the reason for them is like really cool, though, which is basically they just, you know, destroy missiles. Yeah, which is awesome. Yeah. Coin purse. There we go. Oh, I guess I found a storm cloaking encampment. Cool. Don't care. Guessing this is a Dwemer area, too. They take a lot of electrical power to work. A sniper with a railgun might work, but she'd need, like, a battery pack with her. And get First of all, oh, that your sniper is automatically female? Uh, I think that might actually just be like because uh, Sniper Wolf from Metal Gear is a woman that uses a railgun. Mm. And Crying Wolf, which is a reference to Sniper Wolf, but also a separate sniper also uses the same railgun as Sniper Wolf. <laughs> so... Long range harpoon sounds so brutal. Imagine sending like a metal harpoon hurtling through the sky and then it just lands in a dude and just spears him to a wall or something. <laughs> Better automatically female than automatically male. I mean, it really doesn't matter, but. There's no like preference either way. I, I have. I, I literally just don't care. It's kind of the same. It's literally like the same. It's a human being killing people. <laughs> with a railgun. Yeah, it's like, if you're okay with them killing people, what does it matter about the gender? I'm gonna look up railguns now. Spears him to a wall is someone there. <laughs> I typed in rain guns. <laughs> rain guns! <laughs> like, I didn't even mean to. I mean, you're also, like, talking to rain. So... Railgun anime, excuse me. <laughs> Bandits getting wrecked. They did get wrecked. And yeah, railguns, like... Yeah. Uh, this dog will not let me through this door. Thank you, dog. I am now through the door. <laughs> through the wall. Is someone here? <laughs> yeah. I'm really, really happy with that. Skyrim's gonna be, like, a really weird series, because it's gonna be super inconsistent. It's going to be like two days of like, you know, hey, who wants to watch me doing random quests and just talking to Nick about stupid stuff? That's all this is. Exactly what this is. I, I think that's for the best, though. 
I mean, we can talk about the game. It's Skyrim. I've watched a person do a Skyrim Let's Play, and like, oh, it's not a lot. I think it was like five episodes in. They were like, "What do I talk about?" <laughs> <laughs> like they were actually just like yelling into the mic, like I've run it's out of things to say. It's really good. And <laughs> they're just like, "Do I talk about the game?" Okay. And then they're just like, "I'm hitting this guy with a sword." <laughs> Still doing it. <laughs>